What's up everybody, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, then welcome. And if you're not new here, then welcome back. So before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, turn that bell notification. For when I upload new videos, you guys will be the first to know. I don't know why I did that, that was a little weird, but hey, thank you for subscribing anyway. So if you are a part of the Disney community, today is a really big day for news in the Disney community. And uh, if you guys do not know, it is halfway to Halloween. So what is halfway to Halloween? Halfway to Halloween is something that Disney's been doing since 2020 during COVID quarantine. All that was very unprecedented times, but they were trying to keep, I guess, everybody's hopes and spirits up. So they did this thing where halfway to Halloween, it's just like Christmas in July. Um, that's six months till... Um, Christmas, it is now officially, I think, six months till October, which is Halloween. So, so much news has come out about what to expect in terms of the Halloween season. And if you do not know me, then, well, if you do know me, I am a huge Halloween fan. Like, I love everything that has to do with pumpkins, the, the, the weather, the sweater sweater season the everything about it it's just so dope but um yeah there's so much to cover today but uh let me change it to a, something a little more appropriate for this news so yeah i figured i'd finally pull this out i haven't worn this since the uh, boobash uh last year and um so yeah that's kind of this kind of ties into everything so Let's talk about it. So today, news came out that the Boobash is officially retired and we are finally getting back Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, a party that we have not seen since 2019. So that is now three years to the day that the party has not premiered. And um, last year, they, like I said, they premiered the Boobash. And personally for me, the Boobash was such a big letdown. And it was such a high price tag that it literally had nothing to offer in terms of entertainment, um, no ride overlays, no character meet and greets. Uh, it was just such a letdown. And I was really disappointed about that because I try to find the, sorry, I try to find the joy in whatever that I do, especially if I'm paying for it. Like, uh, I'm gonna have fun. But other than that, we're finally getting Mickey and Minnie's not so scary Halloween party. So what does that entail? Let's find out. So Mickey's Not So Scary runs from August 12th to October 31st, and the price tag on it is starting at $105, $105 to $200, that being the $200 being Halloween night. And honestly, I think um, obviously everything COVID infected, even prices, it was originally starting $75, and now the starting is $105. That's better than last year's price tag. I think the Boobash started at 140 to 220 i think it was just so expensive for a reason but anyways i'll take that 105 dollar price tag no problem but um we're finally getting back the boo to you parade one of the most iconic parades and very well loved parades and it's one of my favorite songs it's so catchy it gets stuck in my head and like i said it just gives you that great halloween vibe halloween feel um another thing that's coming back is the uh the fireworks show that premiered in 2019 and uh it took over hollow wishes and it gives you this brand new uh fireworks show that is led by jack skellington and uh new projections new fireworks i think it's just so dope i haven't seen it yet because usually i take that time to go meet characters um but i am gonna catch this fireworks show i'm gonna probably try to go at least twice to this party so i can do everything and get everything done in one shot they're also promising uh, brand new snacks and I'm hoping and praying that they bring back the uh, pumpkin spice milkshake that uh, they had in 2019. Last year they didn't have, they took it away for some reason and it was one of my favorites and I was so upset about that. So hopefully they bring some brand new snacks in and that'll be better than last year's. Last year was kind of a letdown, but I still enjoyed it. Anywho, uh, they also bring back ride overlays. So they're bringing back Halloween overlays to um, Monsters Inc. Laugh Valor, uh, the Teacups, um, uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, and Space Mountain. And that's going to be so dope. So I cannot wait for that. And also, I read up on it, but I'm hoping, like, they, they kind of skimmed over it. But I'm just hoping they bring back the exclusive meet and greets. I am dying to meet Jack and Sally this year. I meet them every year. 
but um not seeing them last year was oh, such a bummer to not go to a halloween party and see jack and sally like in, like i saw them at cavalcade but it, i feel like that wasn't enough but um yeah i'm trying to see them in person along with i think they usually have uh the seven dwarfs out and we'll see who uh who knew that they bring out because it's just this is such a toss-up when it comes to disney you never know who they're gonna take away or bring back but uh mickey uh Jack and Sally are such staples in the Halloween community that they usually bring them out. So we'll see. Uh, also coming back is the uh, Hocus Pocus uh, Villains Spectacular. And it is such a great show. It's one of Disney's best stage shows and it brings together Sanderson sisters along with the villains. And it's such a good time and it's one of the best years to bring them back because Hocus Pocus 2 is premiering this year on Disney Plus. So it is going to be a big year for Hocus Pocus and I know Disney's going to run it into the ground because that is Disney's staple for the Halloween season. It's always Nightmare Before Christmas and Hocus Pocus. So I kind of figured that they're going to do their thing this year and they're going to advertise the crap out of it. And I cannot wait, to be honest. I love Hocus Pocus. I love Nightmare Before Christmas. I love it all. Like this is this is my thing. So um, on top of that, they also, uh, what else? I think that was it for Mickey's Not So Scary. But one thing I am really looking forward to this year, really looking forward to this year, is the Oogie Boogie Bash over at DCA in California. I've never been to uh, Halloween in Disneyland, so just the whole thing in general, I cannot wait to do. I know that they have their own uh, special fireworks show, um, in Disneyland and then DCA, the whole uh, Oogie Boogie Bash. Oogie Boogie is one of my favorite uh, villains. So, like, the fact that I haven't done this sooner, come on. 2020, I was gonna go, but obviously things didn't happen. And now this year, I finally get to go, and I'm just so excited. Like, I'm taking, um, pro I'm probably gonna go for about four or five days to Cali just to do that all because, like, that's right up my alley. And I have to, everybody's just saying, like, Disneyland during Halloween it's, it's so different it's such a vibe and you're gonna love it if you're a big uh, Halloween fan so and that's me so I cannot wait to do it and plus like I said everybody's my favorite so I gotta get a pick with my man my guy my guy hopefully you know everything pans out and it goes well um plus they're always adding something new to the Oogie Boogie Bash so we'll see what new that they can throw in and kind of spruce it up a little bit give us new meet and greets give us new sightings give us uh i don't know somebody new to parade i can't wait to see their parade um everything's just gonna be very new to me um so i cannot I cannot wait also premiering if you are if you're sailing the disney cruise seas then they are premiering um clarabelle minnie mouse and daisy as the sanderson sisters as a meet and greet Do you know that's pretty big like i don't think i've ever seen a like characters dress up as other characters well i have with the avengers but i don't know like sanderson sisters they don't get that much love in terms of like meet and greet stuff like that so that's gonna be really cool to see so i'm really jealous of you guys who are doing like disney cruises let me know down below in the comments if you guys are going on a disney cruise um during the halloween time and just let me know how it is like if you remember this video and you're like months from now and you're like oh i remember kyle was like oh he wants to see pictures. I want to see all the pictures. Let me know. Let me see. Let me see. Send them to me. But yeah, Halloween's going to be so dope this year. Like, when I tell you halfway to Halloween was everything that I expected and everything I wanted, I got my wish. Hallowish. Hallowishes. Let's see what I did there. Yeah. But anyways, um, if anything else were to come up, I'm not... I usually don't um dress up for any of the parties because I, I, I like to have, like, my own attire. Like, I'll dress it up. You'll see pictures like of me at the Halloween parties. I kind of try to dress it up a little bit. Uh, I will probably, if I do two parties, I'll dress up one time and the second time I'll do something else. But we'll see. We'll see. Yeah, this, uh, I think I'm planning on going August 16th to the second Halloween party in Magic Kingdom. And then whenever they release the um, Oogie Boogie Bash dates, I'm going to plan my trip around that. And hopefully everything goes well i'm praying on it but yeah we're gonna have a lot of fun and obviously i'm gonna take you guys along with me because well that's what i do and i go for the people that aren't able to make it like this is gonna be a really really big deal really big deal but anyway, uh thank you guys so much for watching this video this is just basically just an update and i'm gonna keep updating you guys if they if they're like throwing um new things at us guess what we're talking about it. 
because I need to start being a little more active on this channel. So let's do it. Also, tickets go on sale for Mickey's Not So Scary May 12th if you are a resort guest. Um, and they go on sale to the general public May 18th. So get your money ready. I'm pretty sure they're, I'm planning for these to sell out quickly because usually they do. Um, especially now that they're bringing it back. Boo Bash didn't sell out as fast because people were just like, I'm not paying this. And rightfully so. It was terrible. I hated it personally. It just literally gave us nothing and we paid that much. So yeah. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you took the time to watch it through, it's a short video, just a little update video and uh, happy hauntings, happy uh, halfway to Halloween. And I cannot wait to see you guys in August when I go to Disney World to cover the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party, the return. And I cannot wait to see Mickey in his costume. I can't wait to see everybody in their costume. So I cannot wait for the ambiance of Halloween and all that other stuff. Honestly, the 50th anniversary took over last year. Terrible. I don't like the 50th. I'm over it. So give me my uh, pumpkin Mickey wreaths. Give me everything back. Disney, please. Please. <laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I love you guys. If you're watching this in the morning, good morning. Watching the night, good night. Whenever you're watching this, peace.